It's another day here at the Ward Reservation in Andover with my trusty, most annoying hiking companion, the dog, who has now managed to pee and is going to poop in the first two minutes that we're here. Going to knock out some more trails that I haven't done yet in the attempt to finish them all. But first, I must clean up dogs. Oh, happy day. Been here a bunch of times. I've done the trail that goes along the bottom of that hill that we're seeing right there. I've always wondered what it was like on the top of this big hill. And this is the first time I've been up here. It's delightfully wide open spaces kind of thing. Yeah, it looks like there's signs over there by that tree. But I don't know why there would be. Oh, maybe it's birdhouses. Or bad houses. Oh yeah, feeders or something. I see now. Okay, it's nice out. It's about 45 degrees. A little windy. What a nice day. It's gonna be a fun hill. It was covered with snow. There you do a little sledding on in that direction down towards the woods. Well, in any direction maybe. Could be fun. Woohoo. But no snow today. So we just keep on walking. Coming out in the open, up to the top of Holt Hill, where the salsa stones are. Thank goodness it's early in the year, so there's no tall grass, which we know has been known to hide ambushing toads and frogs. Nice fire tower. It's a shame that we can't go up there, but it's closed. We got up here, check the map, see what trails we need to do that we haven't done yet. Get down to doing that first. Ooh, nice view. Very cool. Alright. Oh, here we go. Cruising through the woods on a section of trail that we haven't been on before. Always exciting. This is a beautiful day. It's not extremely windy down here off the hill once you get into the woods. So I'm kind of warm. A lighter jacket might have been in order, but I'll survive. Got the hound leading the way. Fun and excitement is never in. Here we are cresting the top of Brush Hill. Nice. Stone wall, I love those. We have a nice place to set up camp for the night if you're camping. If you could, it's a pretty camped in here. But yeah, if you do it anyway, it'd be fun. Just have to get dropped off and picked up because there's no overnight parking. It is a beautiful day without the wind. Got a couple dog unconscious. The dog has behaved well. Yeah, sometimes he's okay. But only sometimes. I've come down off Brush Hill via the Sanborn Trail and now on Old Chestnut Street. The Red Trail, which is about 3.2 3 miles total. A main thoroughfare. We'll follow this little ways up here somewhere. We bang our right and head back off on a couple short trails we haven't hit yet. Let's try to get them out of the way. Hiding deep in the woods. There's still some ice. The dog slipped on it just a little. But I say that's just the kind of guy that I am. Do a little hill climb on the middle trail, which connects the blue trail to the red trail and goes straight across. And up Boston Hill, where's that old ski hill there in the background? So there's some birds, sound like maybe a couple of owls hooting it up pretty good. Got the dog's attention. Had another encounter 
with another dog. You know, a little white dog. We got all uppity when we were going by. And Sandy was a good girl. Just ignored her completely. Whew. A little more of a breeze here, which is welcome. It's getting kind of warm. Pretty soon now, here's our junction. With the blue trail, which I think is the Sanborn Trail. I haven't got these guys down yet. Let's see. Oh, Graham Trail. Yeah, well. Should have brought some crackers. Alright. We'll scope the map for a second. We got our next line of attack. Pushing up a nice circle. And back up the top of the hill to enjoy fabulous views. Ooh, lovely sunshine. Okay, we have managed this down here, up here, up here, down here. Oh, come up here, come on here. Pass up this trail. Didn't even see this trail. And then we come back up here. Now we're just gonna take this back down to the road. Head back to the car. There's a very cute puppy over there. How cute. Alright, that's the deal. Till next time. Get okay, back out onto the road. Just take us right back to the parking lot. Another exciting day of knocking off a few trails. It was a short day, but fun just the same. Just gotta scoop up that bag of dog poop on my way out. I'll be good to go. Maybe I'll just leave it in Alice's car. <laughs> Coming down to the parking lot to wrap it up. We can see there's a bunch of cars here. I don't know, we only saw a half a dozen people maybe out there. Not too bad. Plenty of space to roam, which is kind of nice about this. So, yeah, that's nice. And now, take the dog home because she's exhausted. And she's going to fall asleep now for a couple days. That's all for this time. We'll see you when we're back out here again. Hopefully sooner than later.